Despite North Korea's missile test on Sunday and another one a week earlier, the Moon administration in South Korea says it will look for opportunities to boost civilian level exchanges with the North. But it says it will maintain its firm stance against Pyongyang's provocations. Lee Ji-won has more. President Moon Jae-in's policy of engagement seems to be getting into gear. The Unification Ministry spokesperson Lee Dok Heng said at a regular press briefing on Monday that the government will seek to boost civilian-level exchanges with Pyongyang while responding firmly to its provocations. We will continue to respond sternly against North Korea's missile tests and provocations, but the long-strained relationship between the two Koreas is not right, especially when we are trying to stabilize the Korean Peninsula. So the government plans to review major issues between the two Koreas with a degree of flexibility. These will include civilian exchanges to the extent that they do not violate international sanctions. The ministry could decide to allow a number of non-governmental organizations to contact the North and possibly let them visit as well. During his campaign, President Moon Jae-in had promised a number of non-political inter-Korean policies, such as reopening the Kaesong Industrial Complex, which was shut down over a year ago due to North Korea's continued provocations. Moon had also vowed to establish media, social, cultural and sporting exchanges between the two. However, because economy-related engagement with the North could violate the UN Security Council's resolution banning financial dealings with the North, many experts say President Moon's civilian-level exchanges will be mainly focused on the humanitarian front. Despite all these problems created by North Korea, he may be eager to provide humanitarian assistance to North Korea in huge amounts, for example. Now this is time for spring. Uh, so this is springtime, so they need the fertilizer. I mean, the North Korea needs fertilizer. So they said, for the humanitarian purpose, why don't we begin the supply of fertilizer to North Korea? Then, what about the, the medical equipment or medicine to North Korea or the infant formula? Those things can be seriously considered and also could be accepted by the general public in South Korea. So that's the previous Park Geun-hye administration officially cut off humanitarian assistance to Pyongyang after it conducted its fourth nuclear test in January of 2016. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.